Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 2, Lesson 13, Problem Set. The directions say, divide using the division algorithm. So, <clears throat> there's 20 problems on here. Uh, I'm probably going to do 4. I figure I'll do uh, 2 evens and 2 odds. So I'll start with number 1. Um, and I'll have to do these probably way out here to the sides to make sure I have enough room for it. So, let's get started and I'll do... Uh, 1,634 divided by 19. Now, the key for this is to, we, we don't have to estimate, that's a good way to start, um, but I'm just going to go through and do the division piece of it. And what always has helped me is to do a couple different facts over here with 19 so I can refer to them and get an idea. So, um, the ones that I normally try to do, I always try to do 5. Uh, so, 19 times, or, yeah, 19 times 5 is going to be one of the ones that I'll do first. And I always like to do a times 3. And then it's nice to do a times 7. So, almost the odd ones, because I know what 19 times 1 is. Um, so, let's do, I'll, I'll do this down to the side. 19 times 3. 27 so that's 57 and what this is doing is uh, it's gonna help me out with uh, when I'm looking at these to try to find an idea of where to go and what uh, numbers can go into or how many times 19 can go into these numbers so that's why I like doing this And I'm going to actually do 19 times 9. Um, just to help me out. So, uh, I have these all set in there, so now I can start in with this. So, 19 can't go into... Uh, the first number it can't go into 16 but I'm looking at um, not really 163 I'm really looking at uh, 1630 at this point because I'm talking about tens I'm in the tens place so uh, 163 tens and I'm at 19 so that's really what I'm looking at so uh, I see that I have 171 here and 133 there. It probably means to get me near 163, it'll probably be right in between, which is times 8. So my foolproof method doesn't always work out. So I got 152. That's going to leave me with 11. So I'll bring down, and that was 8, so I'll bring down my 4. And I have 114 now. Um, and I see that I'm over with 133, but I'm kind of a ways under on f uh, 95 with 5. So I'm between 5 and 7, so I'm going to try 6 right there. This one's going to work out perfect. So I get 86 as my answer for the first one. Let me uh, group all of this so I can slide over. And my answer was 86. Now for that one I did the odds over here in my toolbox. Um, you might decide to do evens because of uh, what just happened there. We had all, but, but we don't know. So um, I'll try two now. And I'm going to do that one in blue, and I'll go off to the side. And I got uh, 2,450 divided by uh, 25. Now, for 25, um, this one's going to be kind of easy to make my, uh, my little toolbox over here because we're talking about quarters. It's just how much, uh, how many quarters do I have? So 
If I have three of them, it's 75 because three quarters is 75 cents. If I have six of them, it's a $1.50 or 150. We're not talking about dollars and cents. We're talking about, if you want to look at it, 25 ones, so 25 pennies. Uh, so I'll do a few of these. If we do 25 times three, I get 75. I'm going to do the ones I normally do. Uh, 25 times 7, that's 7 quarters. 4 make a dollar, 3 make 75, so dollar, or $1.75, which gets me 175. And then I'll do 9, and I know 8 quarters make a dollar with 1 extra, so it's 225. So really nice to, to have uh, 25 there and relate it back to money. So here we go, let's get started. Um, I know it can't go into uh, 24 hundreds when I'm looking at unit form, but it can go into 245 tens. Um, and I know it's really close to times 10 because 25 times 10 is 250. Uh, 9 is going to be the way to go because 250 is too much. So I'll put 225 here, and that's 9 tens that that is because I still have a place in the one spot. So nine tens, and I'll bring down my uh, placeholder in the in the ones place. So I got two hundred now. Um, all I have to do is figure out two hundred, meaning two dollars or two hundred cents. I know that nine times twenty five is two twenty five. Uh, if I do twenty five times eight, that's going to get me my two hundred. So this one, very nice because I could relate it back to money. So that's uh, going to get me my answer of 200. So I'll slide over to 200, or 2, and put 200 as my answer. So what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to pick another one part way down, and I'll take a harder one. Let's do 7. I'll do that one off to the side down here. Um, you may use. So uh, 7... And this is 70,434 divided by 78. So again, I'm going to make my toolbox off to the side. Uh, 78 times 3. That's 24. So 234. And then 78 times 5 would be 390. And I don't even really need to write all of it. I just need to put the times whatever number I'm looking with, so times 7. And then I'll do 9 just because I don't want to have to do this later on. So there we go. Um, now I can take a look and go through my questions now. And what I'll do first is uh, I can't go into seven ten thousands. I can't go into 70 thousands, but I can now see with three digits showing seven uh, hundred four hundreds it can go into and I see that I have um, I have a nine right here and it's this one's 704 this one's 702 so that's a good one and I'm left with two so I'll bring down the three and that's not just nine up here that's nine hundreds I bring down my three and I have twenty three tens, and um, I can't, I can't do that with just twenty three. So that's going to be a zero, and I got to bring down my four. So now I have two hundred thirty four, and I see that right here I have it already, seventy eight times three, so that's going to be a three. So that one, after I made my little toolbox off to the side, put my handle on it right there. For my toolbox and uh, see that I do have 903 
as my answer for this question. So I'll slide back over and I'll write that down. And I'll pick one more to do. Um, and I'll do, might as well do eight. So I'm going to do eight off to the side. And uh, I have 89 is my divisor, and I have 91,047 uh, as my dividend. So I'm going to um, do my toolbox here off to the side. And I'll have uh, 89 times 3. That's 267. And then I'll do times 5. And I just like to do this to kind of give me an idea of what... Uh, 89 times some of these numbers are, so I have a better sense of how many times 89 can go into that large number. And then I'll do times 9, and that'll be it. So 89 times 9. Okay, so now I'll go through... And I know it can't go into the nine. Uh, it can go into ninety, the ninety-one thousand. One time. So that's left me with two thousand. So I'm bringing over the zero. And the reason why I'm doing this, most people say, eighty-nine can't go into nine, but it can go into ninety-one. That is a way to look at it if you're covering everything else up uh, after the number. I'm just speaking in terms of units. Um, so we know that. So let me rewrite that so we can read it. It's a 1. Okay, so we're, we have 20 now. And 89 can't go into 20. So in the 100 spot for my answer, I'm going to put a 0. And I'm going to bring down a 4. So now I have 204. And I see that times 3 is 267. That's just too much. So let's try 89 times 2. And we get 178, and that's going to work, because I can't fit another 89 in there. And I'm left with 26, and now I can bring down my 7 to get 267, and I see it's right here times 3. So I can subtract that off, and I'll get my answer of 1,023. So I'll bring that over to my answer, or to my sheet here, and oops, I missed something. There we go, I want to leave it. Um, so I got my answer of 1,023. So there's four questions uh, that we have finished on this lesson problem set, at least to get you started and see how you can work through these. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the rest of your problem set.